let's see how we can make a game object. Look at the mouse. Alright, we found us back in Unity once more, and in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how we can make a specific game object look at our mouse as we move it through the scene. And for this, I already have a scene set up right here where we'll add a ship. You can also do this with any other game object, but this one will also work totally fine. This is, of course, all available to you in the description below, either GitHub repository or a Unity package as well so there you go and we will need of course one specific script so let's create that script there's going to be a c sharp script and we'll just call this the look at script so there we go let's add it to the ship right here and let's take a look at the script so really there's only a couple of things that we need to do first of all we need a camera right here so this is going to be the camera I'm just going to call this camera and this is going to be equal to camera.main. Now, the reason why we do this instead of just always calling camera.main is that this is what the old wisdom is. Camera.main always calls the get component while caching it like this is a little bit easier on the performance of the game. And then we basically want to convert the mouse position to angles that the specific object has to take in. Now, that might sound quite complicated and there's a little bit of math involved, but let's take a look. So first of all, we're going to get a mouse position so this is going to be the mouse position right here and this is going to be equal to the camera dot screen to world point passing in input dot mouse position this basically translates the mouse position which goes from the bottom left zero zero to top right being your max resolution of the game to the actual world point that is over and this is extremely important you want to cast this to a vector 2 right here because otherwise it's going to set your mouse position or the mouse position here this one to the z position of the camera which per def which per default is going to be minus 10 that might get you unforeseen consequences so keep that in mind the next thing we need is the angle in radians this is going to be done with math f this is a unity math function we're going to choose a tan 2 over here as you can see it returns the angle in radians and this is going to be the mouse position dot y so this is the height of the mouse position minus transform position dot y and then mouse position dot x and you can see it already suggests this to us basically taking away this particular position so now we have the angle in radians and we now need to convert that to the angle in degrees and that is simply done by doing 180 divided by math f dot pi times the angle in radian and we're also going to subtract 90 over here as i want to offset this by 90 degrees and you will see why in just a moment and then of course we still need the rotation the rotation then is just transform dot rotation we're going to set the rotation now that is a quaternion and actually this is pretty much exactly what we need to do not 100 percent, but almost because what we actually want to do is we want the first two so x and y should be zero and the angle in degree should be z here in this case or the z rotation as that is going to be the rotation that is going to be seen in 2d the reason why we need to do quaternion.euler is because a rotation is a quaternion as you can see highest level overview a quaternion is a four-dimensional number which represents a rotation in 3d space however in theory because we are really only in 2d space in this particular instance we can also represent it with three numbers and there is a way to convert from one to the other a whole bunch of math involved which we're not going to get into but that is the idea why we are doing this and then just for debugging purposes what i'm going to do is i'm also going to draw a line from the position to the mouse position with the specific color let's do color dot white and let's do time dot delta time for the time that it's going to be that is basically going to assure us that well eight each frame this should be redrawn and this is really awesome for some debugging purposes and that is going to be the entire script that we're going to need of course all available to you in the description below as well and if we now take a look and just go in here into the game right we start the game you can see it's now looking at my mouse that's pretty awesome and if i turn on gizmos right here we can also see the drawn line right the debug line which is pretty awesome that we can basically see this and you can see it follows the mouse perfectly and you can also see this is the reason why i did the 90 degree offset because if i were not to have this then what actually would happen is that instead of the instead of the top over here right the y direction following my mouse it would be the x direction following my mouse just so that you can see this right so there you go so now it would be a little bit off it's not really the correct way that it's facing and that is why in this case we should do the 90 degree offset yeah and that is an easy way of how you can get a object to look at your mouse and if you want to hide the mouse take a look at this particular video where i'll show you how you can hide your mouse cursor in unity i hope to see you there so yeah